We are an overweight nation, much of it blamed on the kinds of food we consume. One solution may be as simple as swapping our dietary choices. I'm always trying to get the clients that I'm working with to try to get more fiber. Jennifer Vargo is a registered dietitian with Lee Memorial Health System. To get more fiber in the diet, she points to food swaps, including ones that increase fiber and satisfy hunger. Hummus would be a wonderful thing to bring in there. Again, you're working with beans, so now you're going to have that wonderful source of fiber, plus you've got some healthy fats in there too because usually it's made with an olive oil in there too and that's very heart healthy as well. New research is boosting the love affair between fiber and heart health. Not only do people who regularly eat fiber have a lower risk of heart disease, but studies now show that fiber benefits those who have already had a heart attack. Some fiber seems to show better results. The basics, you know, your rice, your beans, your whole wheat pastas. Heidi Miller specializes in weight management. Many of her clients already face medical challenges. She works to put them on a healthy path by adding exercise, along with fruits, vegetables, and fiber. That reduces your risk of heart disease. A lot of people have been able to get off their medications, you know, or at least reduce the medications for diabetes or their blood pressure meds. The FDA recommends between 20 and 30 grams of fiber a day. Most most Americans aren't eating half that much. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.